Hi there, it's Shell and Clint. Hello. <laughs> uh, so guys, we are um we're just gonna have just a craft with me thing. I needed to work in my journal, my daily journal that I recently started. And I just want to kind of show you how I'm getting started in that. Uh, adding watercolor and, you know, talk about some of the books and things like that. Nope. I'm just moving some of my books out of the way. So, I wanted to just discuss... Let's move this stuff over here. Where's that one book I just went and got? There it is. <laughs> oh, you guys. <laughs> uh, uh, so, the last couple of days, I have kind of been focusing on kind of a um, Fobonichi type, draw your day type journal. And, you know, um, I was inspired by Samantha Dion Baker. And let me show you her book. So it's Draw Your Day with Samantha Dion Baker. And what she does is she kind of looks at the ordinary and kind of makes it you know, not mundane. I mean, maybe she'll focus on a dead leaf <coughs> that she sees or, you know, like the tea, the tin that the tea came in or something like that. And I really liked this. It was actually one of the Facebook groups that I just joined gave you two months of Skillshare free. And I don't know if that's like um, a typical thing that you get right now. But I went in there and Skillshare is kind of like YouTube videos, but I mean you, you're paying for it for one, so there's no, um, no commercials or anything like that. But also, you know, like her whole video, her whole class or whatever, was like eight classes or something was like 36 minutes. <laughs> So, it's really fast. It's kind of, it's almost like a snippet type thing. But, um, you, you can get it free on Facebook. I mean, you can still kind of learn almost the same stuff. But, I did see her book, and it wasn't very expensive. It was like nine bucks on Amazon. Uh, I did look. They did have it on Nook. <clears throat> I don't know if they have it like on Kindle or anything like that. But, I kind of wanted to show you some of her art work so like this one she got sick and so she was showing tea you know the medicine she took the hot tea the honey the turmeric ginger she had tissues you know things like that uh, inspiring sayings that she wants to remember sometimes she'll draw like the food or the weather or the rain and you know like a stranger or a dog that she's befriended during that day or something oh. and what you're doing is just kind of keeping um, a journal of your day-to-day -day things and you know we don't do a lot <laughs> we really don't but this has inspired me you know I've done Fobonichi which is um, I think mainly it's like focusing on photographs and then just a little snippet of your day you know that was the main thing is you just had to write something down about your day and uh, I thought this would be fun because I really want to do watercolor it is July is watercolor world watercolor month which is really fun and I you know had this big idea that I was just going to draw and do a watercolor every day it, you know following along with the snippets and the prompts and yeah I thought you know I'm I want to do this it's got some watercolor in it and I'm just gonna kind of add up on it baby girl shot of that basket out of the litter oh bless her heart <laughs> mine's blue right uh, what yeah so yeah so you're just kind of looking at the mundane and making it special I mean like here she drew like a VW bug, I think that's what that is, and then just a big rose, and you know, she has, I had to really, because some of it's really tiny writing, kind of really get in there and write, <clears throat> I mean read, 
But like this one, you know, it was just a little dog that she befriended, and so she sketched that. And that's another thing I really am practicing right now is, you know, drawing, sketching, and watercolor. So I did do my first page. I started uh, July the 1st. And, uh, yeah, so I just wanted to kind of take you guys along. I have my sketch done for July the 2nd. Um, so what I'm trying to do is do it, you know, the day after so that I know what I'm going to write. See, here's another little dog that she befriended. And so I got all my sketching done today and my ink work. And I thought I'd just bring you guys along while we add some watercolor and, you know, kind of talk about my thoughts. <clears throat> so it's kind of like a journal with me. So here's my dirty palette. <laughs> I think I'm just going to try to put it out, out of the way there. I'm going to switch over here. And kind of show you guys what I've been doing. Whoa. All right. So we ended up working yesterday, but I did get this sketched, and like I said, this was July the 1st, and here is a little sketch of Gracie Lynn, which I was really happy that, you know, it almost looks just like her, so I was really thrilled with that. It did look like a cat, so I was happy. That's so important. It's a whimsical cat. <laughs> yeah, that's important. <laughs> But I did add watercolor on this, and this is not um, watercolor paper. It's just um, a Moleskine book, and that's what I have used in the past for my Fobonichi. But, um, and when I was reading her book or her class, she said that's what she used. She adds watercolor, but she doesn't add a lot of water. So. And, you know, my page did kind of buckle, but I was kind of happy with that. But you're just kind of writing snippets of your day. So I love that page. I think it turned out so fun. But I did like a heater here because the heater, it was cold enough that morning that the heater was on when we woke up. But by afternoon, we needed the air conditioner. So I just kind of drew like some little um, strings, kind of like blowing in the wind. And then I did... World Watercolor Month begins, and just kind of an old-fashioned watercolor um, palette, little paintbrush. I kind of got smears and stuff, which is perfect. And then the little butterfly that I made for yesterday's video, I have right here. So I thought that was really fun. So let me show you guys this page. It's huge. It's one day, but I had a lot to say, <laughs> kind of. <laughs> okay. Sorry, Clint's not feeling very good. Um, so we did have to end up working yesterday. <clears throat> which would have been Thursday. Which would have been Thursday, yeah. I need you hear your brush. My brush. Oh. Can you reach it? Yeah, but I need that other one on the floor. I'll get it. <laughs> I got it. I'll go. <laughs> uh some reason I didn't make it over here. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> so, but yeah, on Thursday we ended up having to go to work and we went to this, uh, it's almost like a community. There's like 15 houses or something in it and they're like really close neighbors and so they kind of, sorry, nor my gray hair, but they kind of, you know, play together and they're just really close-knit, um, kind of like a close-knit neighborhood. And it was really a neat place. And they had these almost like cabins. I say they were cabins. The one guy I was talking to, he said that his house was over 3,000 square foot. <laughs> so I'm like, they're not little cabins. No. But that's what it looked like when you went in there. It did not look like it was that large, you know. So we really had fun, but every one of their front yards <coughs> were these beautiful oh. gardens. And, you know, at first glance, it almost looks kind of like weeds, but then you kind of focus in. And, I mean, gorgeous gardens. This one lady, she had lilies, and she had lamb's ears, which was a really pretty thing. 
and she had chives in her garden and I was thinking you know because our our front yard is nothing but we <laughs> we oh, yeah. we just have never done anything and I told Clint you know we need to get those plants I can't remember if they're annuals or perennials the ones that come back year after year and start planting them and then just have like a um, a huge garden out in the front yard you know add a little statues or something they did have snakes they said but he warned me that yeah, that they were just water snakes nothing to worry about or what were they called I don't know but anyways bull snakes I think is what he said but I mean there was trees there that had these little berries on it and so I ended up taking my camera and I asked them if I could just go around and take some pictures and so this is kind of like a escape of my um, a drawing of my dream garden uh, Clint and I both love flowers and this was just so fun it was just I mean stunning because you'd see like orange over here and purple over oh, here yeah. and uh, red over here and I drew some wisteria because I think that would be really pretty in our garden I didn't see any there sunflowers and then those um, poker things what are those things called red hot pokers red hot pokers they had those in there and so what I did is I just took my camera and went and looked at the pictures and kind of drew and like the lilies you couldn't really make out on the picture sorry here's Gracie Lynn Gracie Lynn look at her baby look at the baby he's such a sweetheart yes you are mm. daddy wants you um, but I couldn't really make out the lily, so I just went online, found a lily picture. And as we were trying to find the place, <clears throat> we heard this beautiful bird singing, and we couldn't figure out what it was. And we happened to to see it move, and it was a killdeer, which is not something that we see very often. Very often. I think we've only seen like three, two or three, our lost. whole working career. So that was awesome. I actually have pictures of one where we found the kill deer. She was actually sitting on eggs. And then what they do is they act like their wing is broken and kind of run away. But that's been a while since I took that picture. But so I wanted to write about that. And I wanted to kind of keep, you know, um, just a little bit. I thought, well, this page was so empty. And I thought, you know, I'm just going to go ahead and write down like its scientific name and stuff. So I told Clint. I can't, the one I was looking at was not a very good picture of a kill deer. And so I pulled out this book, which is one I just got too. I'll put these in the links below so you guys can check them out. Uh, the Law's Guide to Nature Drawing <coughs> and Journaling. And I love it, but they kind of, they didn't have a kill deer. I don't know about the snakes, but, um, you know, it's kind of like the main, you know, this is what you're looking for when you're drawing a bird. This is how you... But they didn't have a kill deer, so I asked Clint, I was talking to him, I said, I can't find a good picture of a kill deer that I can see. And he said, well, look in my bird books. So I looked in the laws, uh, nature drawing, and then he gave me these books. And let me see which one this one was on. One was on like 255. I don't think it was this one. But one was in here, and Mama Killdeer is doing the, um, you know, broken wing. the broken wing thing, which was really cute, but it wasn't going to work for my picture. I didn't want that. But let me show you because it's really interesting. 455. Oh, 455. I think I said 355. But it was really interesting to see. and But see, she acts like she's got a broken wing. And yes. I didn't really want to draw draw that. So she's like limping. She puts her wing out. It's really funny. But we took pictures from far away of when we found the mama killed her with her um, eggs. We didn't want to disturb them. But man, the eggs are hard to, hard to spot because they look just like the surrounding rocks and stuff. So I did take some things from this one uh, I went in and took the habitat and the nesting I just thought that was really interesting and 
what I did is I just kind of wrote some of that down and in this other book is where I actually found this one and I just uh, kind of sketched it out I could see it pretty well and then I just wrote down you know like the scientific name the habitat and nesting and things like that so you know I want to kind of do nature journaling but I don't want to say oh this one has because in here I think it was like you know underpants are white the breast is two black strands but like here the baby it says babies have two two breast bands the chicks have only one or the adults have two the you know I don't want to go that far into it but I thought it'd be kind of interesting to do the habitat and things but we saw ours in a pasture but the habitat is there in pasture plowed fields riverbanks mud flats and I thought this was interesting airports and then I said, we, we saw it in a pasture. But it was really fun. Hi! I thought your daddy was babysitting you. Oh, so, well, that's okay. Okay, so we're going to go ahead. So I sketched everything out with pencil. And then I came back with my large eraser. It's just a plastic white eraser. And I erased it. After I did the ink. So I have ink. Uh, I have two kinds of ink that I traced with because see here the lines are a lot thinner but um, the thicker ones you have to really let it dry for a while so I ended up sketching it and we had to run to Cortez and get our medicine because we weren't going to have enough for the weekend so we ran down there and I just let it all dry and when I came back and then I still have an empty spot over here in one over here and I'm gonna like sketch in some of those roses that I made for uh, Friday's video and I think I'm gonna do that there and then here just to kind of fill in some of the stuff so here we go we're gonna get started you're probably fine <laughs> finally Michelle <laughs> you big jabber mouth <laughs> I'm a rambler, and if you don't believe it, you got to look at the title of my of my book or of my channel. Channel. <laughs> so, but yeah, we I've really enjoyed this. I'm gonna look up Killdeer, so I'm not like, you know, kind of fighting through this. But see, this one is one reason is it has has the scientific name first. And I couldn't find it in here. I told Clint, I can't find it. But um, it's a C H A R A. C H A A R A Chardrius. There it is. 250. And um, then they also have the other name, but. Okay, so there's the kill deer that I used. So I'm just going to leave that open, pop it over here to the side. Need my big old book magnet thing, but I don't have it. And then we're just going to watercolor. I'm just going to show you guys how um, I'm going to do this. And just like I did on yesterday's page, I am. Um, you know, I think the easiest thing is I wasn't aiming for perfection. It was just kind of, you know, sketch it, get it on paper, and then I'll add, you know, the uh, shadows and stuff with the ink. And I wasn't stressed. I wasn't like, this has to be perfect. You know, it was, no, Bubba. Okay, go on. At least the cats listen. <laughs> so it's kind of fun not, you know, putting a lot of stress into it or anything like that. Okay, so we're just going to, I really need, what do I need? I need this. I think what I'm going to do is put my water over here maybe and my paint. I don't know. There we go. So you guys can see everything, but probably won't see the paint. But I was thinking like this, I think it would be really fun to just do that in green. So I'm just going to just kind of play and like I said, because this is not watercolor paper, I am just going to use just some um, pretty strong watercolors without a lot of water. So the color 
you know, is going to be really, um, hey, brat, it's going to be pretty, um, pretty dry. So. I think I was. I'm okay, actually. Oh, good. I thought I missed it. Baby girl. <laughs> so we ran to town and we got our medicine. Got some ice cream, even though, well, we're going to a, oh, happy July 4th, because yeah. you'll see this on July 4th. We're going to our friends, social distancing and everything tomorrow, or today, tonight, for um, July 4th for fireworks, because we are still having fireworks, and she's just going to make a dinner. and. Yeah, their house is right next door, though. Yeah, we can sit out on their back patio and watch. and watch. They have a deck and everything, and it's just perfect out there. It's just a beautiful place, and we don't have to be around anyone else. And so that's really nice. We do it every year. It's kind of like a annual get-together. And uh, her kids are home from school. Yeah. So we're getting to see those, those boys. But, um, so we, you know, picked up a few things in, um, in a uh, Safeway. So we got a, we did find a Santa Claus melon, which I was really happy about, because we got that watermelon. one melon. Huh? I said, ooh, watermelon. Yeah, a watermelon for dinner, maybe. I have, so. We don't, we hadn't planned, but we had Taco Bell on the way home, and. But we got um, ice cream, and I found one, and it was um, supposed to be like a healthier, because you can eat like the whole pint, like 300 calories, 320 calories, and I haven't looked it up on Weight Watchers. I'm just staying the same. I haven't lost anything or nor gained anything. I'm just not really putting a lot into it, which I should, but I'll get back into it, because I have no intention of gaining, you know. But it's just been kind of kind of difficult you know the last few days and stuff but yeah it's um so we got lettuce and tomatoes because she's going to make indian tacos you both i'm sorry place? navajo tacos actually is what they're called and we're just going to have lettuce and tomatoes and she said you could bring ice cream if you want but her boys are on weight watchers too and I told her, well, so we got that, and then we got some healthier stuff for Clint and I. Well, for me. <laughs> but Clint liked it, too. It was really just a really nice ice cream. I'll have to look it up if anyone's interested, but it was a really good ice cream. Okay, so lost? while I'm doing the green, I am going to kind of water it down a little bit just to make it a little bit lighter. And then anywhere I want, like some green, I'm going to go ahead and just kind of pop that in. Trying to remember what I drew wear <laughs> but I do try to you know um, what Leave baby toilet paper alone Jamie Christmas why don't you go play dodge a dog or something we don't have any dogs for her to dodge Daddy. I don't care she <laughs> dodge something well we just took a nap and baby girl is so fun obnoxious is when, the word when she wakes up she's I'm like hyper and <laughs> yeah kind of psycho and yeah that's darn <laughs> So I'm just going to kind of do just a really thin wash on, you know, some of the greenery. And then I can bring in some highlights and oh, things doing. like that. Maybe some, you know, these are poppies. So I'm just kind of. Uh, sorry. Find a dog for <laughs> you know Baby girl just turned off the, uh, yeah, the camera. <laughs> <laughs> Why don't you play with me, Bubba? Bubba's boring, Daddy. Bring him another kitten for me to play with. <laughs> I told him when we had uh, Jazzy and uh, Artie, you know, they were both the same age, but she's so much smaller than Artie. He's kind of out of that, I want to play all the time phase. <laughs> phase. And she's in it. So it's kind of, I said, it's still a lot of work having her, you know, because like I said, with great uh, Jazzy and 
him, they kept each other, I mean, they were always playing, they were always exploring, and he's explored everything, he's over it. Yeah. <laughs> and she's still in the middle of it. So she knocked oh, a, you dummy. She knocked a pin on the ground. Oh, no, I'm right. Okay. Clay calls himself a dummy, but he's uh, right. She's bouncing to, oh, you can't see her. I'm not doing very good. I'm so much pain, my mind is foggy. I'm not You shouldn't be, it. as we say, you shouldn't be doing anything. I ain't, I'm quitting. I'm getting my watermelon. Oh, good. Entertain the baby. I don't want that cat. <laughs> Entertain the baby, Daddy. <laughs> this is our life, guys. If I'm talking... <laughs> if I'm talking right now, she is just like, Mama, where are you? I gotta be with you. If I get up, like, in the middle of... Which is really funny, because yesterday... We have... We have cat toys everywhere, but we, um, we have them, um, in the hallway, you know, next to our bedroom. We have a cat toy, a cat tree. It's just a small one, but it's probably about four foot tall. And I come out of the bedroom last night and she's sitting on the top, um, top of it. She's just discovering like the, um, the cat trees and things like that, you know, and it's real so cute. But yeah, so she's discovering that, and she was she's you know really up high, and she's like talking to me, and you know like Mama, look, I got up here. <laughs> so cute. Now this one I'm not gonna do because this one is kind of like a gray, and it's lamb's ears, and I think what I'm gonna do is come back and kind of. If I know what they are, it's kind of right what they are. Just because I thought that was, I didn't know what a lamb's ear was. And um, we actually had to locate after this. And I was talking to the to the man and he said, I said, what are those? And he said, oh, they're lamb's ears. And he said, do you want some? And I'm like, sure. He said, once you plant them, they grow everywhere. So I hope it's not like a noxious weed or something. You attack me, you're and you're going to have it. So yeah, it's just, so I'm just using a tiny one for this. I could probably, no, nah, I'll just stick to this. I'm almost done with it, but, but yeah, um, so he, he dug them up for me. He said, do you have a, uh, well, he said, I'll go get a shovel. And I said, well, I have one in the, in the car. And so he went and dug it out, <coughs> it out for me. And I thought, you know, I put it and carry it home and it's still hanging in there. So. A little Sorry. bit there, a little bit here. <coughs> Ow. These are lilies, oh, in case Lord. you guys, in case I didn't tell you. Um. Oh, I got my squares today. Right. Yeah, Clint got right. his, uh, month. yeah, his block of the month, yeah, month club thing today. Oh, Lord. And, oh, sister's back. I thought you were keeping her entertained. Well, apparently I'm not. <laughs> These were actually a pile of chives, and we love, you know, like, um, chives and garlic. There was garlic in one lady's. Oh, yeah. That there was, was so like, cool. four houses right beside each other, kind of, and, but there's, like, no traffic or anything. You have to park and then kind of walk back in there, and, um, this one lady, she had, um, garlic that was high, taller than me. So that was really fun to, fun to see and, you know, just everything. But they were all such nice people. And, well, what happened was we're in the middle of making a video, but I didn't have the introduction part. And they actually had the, it's plantain, and they actually had that there, you know. And I was like, oh, would you mind if I, you know, made my introduction from here? And they said, oh, no problem. And. Then people, you know, came out wanting to know what we were doing, and then yeah. I think there's it's just a big happy, you know, community. Well, that's what just, they said, like they help, you know, they help each other too, and you know, if you know, yeah. Got, if anyone's sick or anything, <coughs> it's kind of like you know, probably back in the day where people, you know, their neighbors were just as important as their family, and yeah, or more, you know, kind of thing. And we just met some really neat people, and. But it was funny because the plumber that was doing the work, 
uh, he called us, and uh, his name is Clint, too, and I was talking to this one lady where most of this was in her garden, gorgeous garden, and I said, oh, I'm going to have Clint make me some, make me some, um, make me a garden like this, because I think this would be really nice and simple, you know, they just had like wood walkways, wood mulch and stuff, and I thought, you know, this would be really nice, <coughs> And, um, you know, maybe we could just kind of work on it here and there and not feel so overwhelmed. But um, <clears throat> the lady, I said, oh, I'm going to have Clint make me some. And he's like, well, how would he do that? He's so busy and he's only a plumber, I thought. And I was like, well, my husband's name is Clint, too. <laughs> but it was funny. She's like, oh, she said, I was wondering how he was going to make time for everything. <laughs> I was like, no, my Clint. <laughs> So it, it was really funny. But <clears throat> it was just a fun day yesterday. You know, it wasn't a stressful day. Mm -hmm. And, you know, we took our other vehicle, our other car, because our other one was acting up. And it was just a fun day. I mean, there wasn't any stress, was, really. Yeah. You know, some, da some days you go to work and <coughs> you get nothing but stress. And... It wasn't that way. It was just fun. It was really. I. I. It was bad. You know. I it was just. Day, yeah. It was so much. It was fun. just neat people and oh my gosh the garden and you know I got to talk to you know just different people that were nice and sometimes you get not so nice people and sometimes you get the ones that you're like oh my gosh I'm so glad <coughs> I spent time with them and they always brighten your day. They do. You know. And this one is. Um, a hummingbird that I saw and it was a Rufus it was a um, uh, what am I thinking During the book. he was a like rust colored Rufus so he's gonna end up being rust colored but I still have some green and still want to paint so this was a tree which was really fun yeah it was just so much fun I really well it. yeah I mean the people were just nice and you know I just got to visit with this one guy he's fixing to move to Virginia and you know we were just talking about um, things going on and you know he was he actually got rid of some things and gave me some so you guys will see well a couple of things you'll see on the channel before too long they're still in the car but he said I've been trying to get rid of it nobody will take it and I said well let me pay you for it it was just like a one was a like a china teacup that I thought might be kind of fun just to <coughs> put like paintbrushes in or something and then a little um, oh. box that had a woman hugging a cat and I was like that's perfect I gotta have that <laughs> so that was kind of fun and then he was telling me about his um, possible job and uh, in the D.C. area and stuff, he was talking about moving and stuff, but he was telling me that he hoped his next house wasn't as big as this one because, you know, you kind of pare down to move and then you move or live there for a while and you build up stuff again. And I said, yeah. And I said, well, maybe your next house won't be, or will be bigger. And he said, I hope not. This one's 3,000 square foot. And I'm like, what? <laughs> Sure didn't look that. It did not look, yeah. So I'm just kind of. But I like this because you know it's just for you. I mean, if you want something in there that's personal, you know, and if I was sharing it with you guys, I could blur it out or put a post it over it if I didn't want to share it, but I don't have anything to hide. So, most days, anyways. <laughs> But I thought, you know, I'm just going to bring you guys along and kind of show you how I'm going, you know, about my uh, daily drawing and no, stuff. No, I don't want you on that. I got all my fabric so, there. Go. I'm doing this one all green and stuff because go. it was in the I middle of a, go. it was kind of like on the edge of a pasture. And I just thought that would be pretty. And, you know, it just is green. Just green and fun and you know, leaves and stuff everywhere, and grass. But what I'm doing is just kind of not getting too um, stuck on it, you know, and just kind of doing my own thing. So I think that's all the green. That was a lot of green on it. Oh. 
so these are going to be wisteria that's going to be purple i'm thinking about you know my different colors these are going to be purple sorry these are going to be purple this is red and that's these are poppies so those would be orange these are orange so let's just see what i have <coughs> so i think i'm going to aim for an orange and just see you know what color i can come up with real quick over here so uh, my plan is <coughs> to you know kind of find out what i want to add what color and then you know spread it throughout the book throughout the page all at one time that's definitely i think the way to go and not having to mix colors and all that you know and then you know you have the same color kind of spread out it gives you a cohesive page that's what i've heard anyway <laughs> i sound like i know what i'm talking about <laughs> um, mm -hmm. i know what i'm talking about mm -hmm. <laughs> but yeah it kind of gives Whatever you say, makes it all all come together so this is kind of orange poppies and I put the seed pods in there so that you could tell that they're um, poppies you know they have poppies there I don't know if they did or not I don't think they did because ours are dead mm -hmm. now but I thought if we had a garden like this mm -hmm. we would we would have poppies oh yeah <laughs> so Definitely. because we have a lot I mean we probably have an eight or ten square foot space of poppies that started out with like four poppies just a few of them but I really want to get like um, different varieties yeah you know I would love different varieties so if you guys have some I would love it if you would send me like seeds if you have like a personal poppy I was thinking the best part of a garden I think would be um, from my friends mm -hmm. you know if my friends were share it's kind of like a friendship garden um, seeds like for hollyhocks or you know things like that if you guys want to share I would so appreciate it and my um, the um, my mailing address is always in the description it's just a PO box and, pay yeah I'll pay shipping you know, you could, should be able to just stick it in an envelope or something. But oh, yeah. I think that would be awesome, you know, to kind of record, you know, um, if you have like black poppies or those blue poppies or something. I think that was supposed to be green. <laughs> Thinking, ah, it doesn't look right. That's okay. That's okay. We'll put a green leaf there. And then I'll just kind of add more. Oops. Oh, boy more green kind of adds different shading and stuff oh and this needs to I was work on my bow ties but I think I messed up one. yeah Clint's kind of working but he's just not feeling very well and it's just not going too well for him is it baby no. so these are like the little buds of those or whatever they're called. Should have took it the end this morning while we're trying to figure out how many blocks. Yeah. So you know what I'm not sure of? Could you look them up for me, fire po pokers, and tell me what color's on top? I think that's what they're called. It's red. Well, is it red on top, or is it pink, oh. or... Because there's red and yellow, so... Uh. But I just love their garden I took plant. That is what we're doing. And they had like a a wooden fence in front of it. But I think we would do like a picket type fence. Just to like keep the goats out and stuff like that, you mm -hmm. know. It's red on top and yellow on the bottom. Okay, thank you. Huh? Oh, okay, so it's red, orange, yellow. Okay. <coughs> That's perfect. So I'm just gonna kind of put some a little bit of shading. It's just gonna be fun. I'm gonna enjoy it. I think I am too because you know, like I said, I want things that you know return every year for the most part, and so it's not um, you know a a um, year round type. You know, every year you have to plant. So I want bulbs and things like that. Mm -hmm. So 
so you said, okay, so this is kind of orange here. And then do that. Kind of here and here. So these are, aren't they called red hot pokers? Is that right? I think it said fire pokers, I think. Fire pokers? Clint looked at them for me. I looked up fire pokers. Oh, okay. There. That is fire really Fire dance, purple, torch. Oh, really? Huh. So, I mean, there's, oh my, wow, there's a lot. That one kind of got a little bit whimsical. <laughs> Oh, no, they are red-hot poker plants. They are red-hot pokers. The lady across the street has some. And somebody gave us tons of these, but n not one of them survived. Nope. Not one. But see, the colors I just made all these oranges out of, I'm using for this one. So we're kind of, um, you know, kind of dis distributing it throughout the... the uh, Page. So I can't really remember how these were. I think they're white with yellow, but you know, it doesn't really matter. And then these were kind of like a pink. Those were purple. These kind of had yellow and red, oh. so we can kind of visit that. So. But yeah, we just had so much fun, and then I want a Taco Bell, which we don't get very often, and I can't eat very often because sometimes it makes me sick or makes Clint sick, so. so we went and got chicken, and it was really good from the grocery store. Yeah, that's usually, if I'm by myself, that's what I usually do is go grab me a chicken breast and all but. <laughs> yeah, you do, huh? Mm-hmm. And some, a lot of times he doesn't eat, but when I go with him, I'm like, honey, you need to eat, and I'm hungry, so let's eat. <laughs> so I think I'm going to put like a pink in here. I think it'll be kind of interesting. And who is it? Uh, Marty Buck, too. Oh, yeah. I know how she is. It's not even supper time, so I don't know why she's... The cats have thought that, think now that they have <laughs> to... have their treats, you know. Sometimes they start before 4 o'clock, which I don't get that, but you know, whatever. Little stinkers. Okay, so see, that's really fun. And they, those were going to be pink, so I'll just kind of get that pinky color and kind of put that in here. Huh? Cricket chirping. Oh yeah, we have a cricket. <coughs> I know that's weird, but we do. It's weird that I mentioned it. I'm just looking to see if there's anything else that... Okay, so that's going to be kind of purpley. So let me mix up a purple using that pink. And this one was going to be orange. So let me kind of do that one first. Gracie Lancet, and I hope you guys are being recorded. Well, I haven't heard it beep. I <laughs> haven't either. Too, <laughs> yeah, I'm still red. Okay. I was thinking, huh. I haven't heard anything, but, well, you know. Yeah, you never know. But I haven't heard it beep, so I figured you were okay. Yeah, I was just hoping. <laughs> So that was fun, and then here, let's do the purple stuff. So I'm going to use um, cadmium rose, I think is what it is, and it's blue. I think I'm going to use um, phalo blue. I'm trying to remember the colors, so I kind of tell myself, you know, what the colors are when I mix in just for my, um, for my sake. So, there we go, I like that, that color, purple. It's really dark, which is kind of fun. But let's go here and just kind of make some little chives in there. Can you see that? 
Okay, she did it again. We were just... <laughs> She's just too cute. She's really cute. So I'm going to put just a couple of little um, purples in here. Because if you look at a lamb's ear flower, then um, they have... It's kind of like a... Uh, what did you call it? Like a sagey sage color. color yeah. And, yeah. And then, so this... But the leaves are kind of... Or the flowers are kind of like mullein plants, if you know what a mullein is. But it's smaller and they're purple instead of yellow like a mullein. So. And then these are going to be purple, but I think I need to lighten them because that's really, really dark. So... Maybe I'll just kind of kind of add a little bit more water and just kind of water them down, but nothing too severe, Artie, you know. Just you, um, art. She had a couple of different colors yeah, of purple right. uh, for these, and they were so pretty. Want to come up? Okay. I really liked them, but I'm not sure what they are. So if anyone knows, then let me know. But they're like long stalks, probably about um, 12 inches or so. Clint probably knows I haven't asked him. What? But what? Those uh, really tall flowers that, um, like these, I don't know. And I think they had like yellow dots yeah. in the center. No, it wasn't a gear, these things. The oh, those! They almost look like those a lupin, beautiful. but they were really tall, so they're yeah, not. So but you know, I was—that's the first thing I thought of was it was a lupin, but it wasn't. But they have like they were purple, and then had like little yellow flowers. Just kind of adding a little bit of the darker shade, and you know that'll add a little bit of um, shadow in there too. I just thought that would be kind of interesting. Oh, man. What? Oh, I was just seeing what you were eating. I made me an ice cream sandwich. Good for you. I have my watermelon and now I'm having <laughs> We're having a healthy supper tonight. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Well, these things are small. Remember when we were kids, how big those things I know. Were? I'm sure they were a lot bigger than they are today. Oh, a lot bigger. So I'm going to say that these were white, and so I had like some um, gray mixed up on my uh, pad, and I'm just, I just kind of went into that gray, and I'm just putting just a little bit, just to give them a little bit of like shadow and shade, and okay, that looks good. Oh, and I want those purple too, but you know what, I think I want them be a little bit different so I'm going to use those same colors but I'm going to lean more to um, the pink I wonder if Phyllis has any of those flowers which ones? The ones you asked I don't know I need to ask her huh it's kind of nice to have a neighbor who does a bunch of gardening well that and a friend who works at the nursery that's true we do have a friend that works at the nursery I was wondering if she had any like sad flowers they could bring me <laughs> do you need to have any flowers that need a home <laughs> yeah then Can I think I'll you? just kind of put some of that and then some of the you know the other purple shade in here just to kind of break it up so that it's not all like we have two types of wisterias growing or something So this is really fun. I have really enjoyed because, you know, I want to practice my drawing and my um, watercolor. And I thought, you know, what's better than just doing it all, <coughs> you know, together. And Did you get lost, Cap? You know, especially with it being World Watercolor Month. But I used to do this every single day. And I was thinking it's been like for three years solid I did it. And then I switched to junk journals, and you know, I was telling Clint, the problem was that I didn't feel like I had enough room, and you know, because sometimes it would be like the back of a postcard to write on, and I was just kind of feeling um, where I just didn't really, um, 
yeah, kind of just discouraged. I didn't know where to go from there. So I'm going to use my junk journals for like friendship stuff and, <laughs> you know, maybe um, rambling here and there or... It turns out. Oh, really? The black cat outside, the one of them, she um, had her black tongue out and it was so funny. I think it's funnier when they're like really black kitty cats and then they have their tongues hanging out. Yeah, pink tongue. Yeah, so funny. I don't know how long I've been jabbering for, but you guys. Yeah, who cares, you know? Yeah, who cares, huh? Okay, so let's move to this side and we'll paint that. Sun. It was sunny and hot, so I thought it'd be kind of fun just to do a sun. Um, kind of messed up there, but it's no biggie. And, you know, sunshine. It was just a fun day, wasn't it? The, yep. I don't think I erased everything, but that's okay. That's okay. <laughs> There's already or talking. Yeah. I don't know who you're talking to, though, because sister's right here. Mm -hmm. And then I still have some of that orange left, so I'm just going to put some of that in there, too. Let me tell you a little bit. She's going to get the button in a minute, I think. Yeah, she keeps pushing the button on us. <laughs> I don't know why she's laying there. Unless it's warm, I think, maybe. And I'm glad she's there instead of... Like bothering me? I'm yeah, glad she's there, too. I wonder if she would want to watch the fishies. She does love her fishies. Hi, baby. But Clint's upset that there's no... Um, they showed this stupid shark when you used to look at the app. Well, that dumb shark ain't been there yet. I want to know where he is. He's going to ride him and tell him his kitty is upset that there's no shark on the app. It's that called like an aquarium or something. Yeah. So that's kind of cute. I'll put some of that down here. <laughs> Here, Can you hear him? <laughs> is that him or is that Bubby? No, that's him. That is him. And then just Maybe him and Bubby will play out. I don't know either. That's funny. <laughs> I'm just gonna put this like a little cat in. Yeah, but or oh, he might be looking for sister. Artie, she's in here. You should go find Bubba. She just cleaning up in front of the computer. She's in here, honey. So that's fun. And then I'm gonna switch to my larger one, and we're gonna do those roses okay. that I want to do there. She's up here. So I'm gonna use. Well, I know, honey. I think it'd be really fun to do, like, purple oh, yeah. roses down here. You know what? I'm going to go get a slightly smaller brush, but not as tiny as that one. So, I'll be right back. Okay, I don't know what she did. <laughs> it's yeah, all sideways now. It's all sideways, but I don't think it'll matter. Because, yeah. It's just showing the same way. It's just sideways for me. So, I am going to make some of that purple. I got a size. I went up from a got a size 4 from a 2. I think I'm just going to do like purple roses. I bought some really pretty roses today. Yeah, Clint bought me some roses and a new really pretty vase. It's yeah. kind of like a um, picture. Yeah, kind of like a pitcher, like a milk glass pitcher, actually. That's kind of what it looks like. It's really pretty. Yeah. So we are going to just kind of work here and just kind of make like that one um, rose that I made the other day. Add a little bit more water and kind of water it down. <laughs> oh, Here, let me get my fish out and see if she wants Daddy's to gonna show her fishy. There's your fish. <laughs> <laughs> there you go, Mama. Uh, she's all happy now, huh? <coughs> so I thought it'd be kind of fun just to do, you know, different rose type looking. Over there, look at all. Look at that one. 
Just kind of, just kind of round. You know, since this isn't watercolor paper, it is kind of like that. Didn't really have a good definition, which is fine because I'll come back with a smaller brush probably and you know add a little bit to that. But and then like this, kind of picked up some more of that yellow right or here, pink. Hilda. Look at your fishies. Look at that one. She does love her fishies, doesn't she? Well, look at them all now. What is the whole bunch? So he wants to find like an interactive uh, app. Wait, right. If you touch the screen, they come to the that The fishies point. come running over or something. Running. <laughs> Swimming over. You I know, something like that. Me. Yeah, I think that would be kind of fun. You know, I don't know, you guys. Let me know if you heard if you know of any apps. Yeah, if you know that, a developer, tell them to view it. It'd be yeah, nice. they probably already have it out there, truthfully. If I not. keep wanting a shark to come and then fire, scare <laughs> her. But, you know. Yeah. You know, you know, Daddy, he's always concerned about the cat scaring. Oh, She's really fun to scare, though. She oh. is, too. Oh, she had her head on my Oh. She is a lot of fun to square, scare. Yep, she is. She loves playing hide and seek, and then she jumps out and gets you, and it takes off. <laughs> so cute. Pretty soon she comes back. <laughs> okay, and I think I'm going to put the same one over here just to kind of incorporate, you know, that into this side. Sorry, guys. I don't know how long this has been. I know. Clint's going to be like, honey, quit. Don't give a rat's token. Don't give a rat's tokus. Like somebody told me, you know, these people pay pay to watch you, Michelle. Oh, wait. No, they don't. <laughs> they can just... <laughs> Push off. I was thinking, that's true. You can just, you know, you're not paying for it, so... Oh, here they come. Oh, look at that one. That one's pretty. Ooh, there's a cool one. So this one, they're kind of turning out uh, more... Um, kind of pastel looking, which is kind of fun. Oh, and I haven't even done the kill deer part mm. yet. That's okay. Mm. You okay there? Yeah, I just moved. Let's see, maybe one here. You can put as much time as you want, you know, into this. It's not like it's... But... I don't know, it's been really fun for me because, you know, I was thinking, oh, I want to eat. And then I thought, you know, just go draw. You can't eat and draw at the same time. No. Not when you, you know, don't want to get food and stuff all over your stuff. Because you'd be out. That one I'm going to let dry a little bit more. Let's go into the pink. When she first started watching the little um, app of the fish, she would, um, there was a certain one that she would always kind of lean towards. It was so funny because she'd be like watching for it. It was like a really bright, colorful blue and yellow one. Not a clownfish, but yeah, something like that. It was really kind of interesting. Funny how she, you know. Well, and by doing this, guys, if you're into watercolor, you kind of want to learn, then, you know, you're kind of getting Ooh. little bits of it and, you know, just fun, funness. What was that? I heard something. Something. Oh, okay. I thought it was outside, like almost a firework or something. No. Okay, so now I am just going to put some I think I'm going to add some green and make it a little bit darker. So I think I'm going to do green in this color. Ooh, that made like a brown. <laughs> I don't want that color, but yeah, a little bit of blue. Maybe I can turn it into like a brown for my um, 
killdeer because I need to do him. Not really good at mixing colors, so this is really good for you know learning how to mix and everything too. That's kind of gray, and then green. And I'm trying not to incorporate any other colors, so that's the uh, okay. So let's do the kill deer. Here's my book. Just kind of, it's kind of green. I don't <coughs> like that. <laughs> She's asleep. Aww. She just needed some loving. Yeah. Loving from daddy. Let's see. What do I want to do here? Let's try this one. Do what? Said she really is a very sweet baby. She's sitting in daddy's lap sleeping. Okay, I think I got my brown. Maybe. Yeah, that'll work. Hopefully I have enough because I don't remember how I did that. <laughs> okay, so that's not too bad. And then just, like I said, I don't want it to be, you know, 100% accurate or anything. I just want to have fun and, you know, paint and do whatever I feel like doing. And Okay, all this is brownish. Just light wash. I don't want it too wet. And then his little head right through here is brown. And one thing I did on the other page is like I couldn't keep my whites in there very well. So I um, came back with my gel pen and made the white and that worked really nice. So I'm going to let that kind of dry. Let's do this and... A little bit of yellow. Sister, no. Sophia, no. Lay down. I just added some yellow to that, to the brown, for his little feet. Good girl. Thank you, Sophia. And then how am I going to get a black? <laughs> Do I need brown anymore? I could put brown over here, huh? Kind of bring in a little bit of the brown. This was a branch. So that would work there. So see what I mean by kind of um, bring in your colors, you know, across the page using the same color for different areas and not, if so if you add them, then you're going to just kind of, you know, add them in different places. And, you know, like right now I don't want to add the other blue that I have on my palette unless I find a place, you know, three or four places to put it because it just wouldn't kind of wouldn't all go so that's kind of fun and it kind of brings that in and then let's do this might work for these just kind of thinking green. about adding some green to that I'm just seeing if I can make it kind of um, sagey color I don't know what color I would put in there. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Well, that'll work, I think. Maybe some of this one. I think that'll work. No, ma'am. So, uh, so Sophia Renee. No, honey. So this, no. I kind of tried to turn it like into a sagey color, sagey green color. Quite you swallowed an orange. Sister was munching. She didn't eat it all, but I say what the word munch was. <laughs> there was a table. Oh how funny. What I love about these um these little land ear things is the color was so beautiful. It's just just a pale kind of sage green color and it was just really pretty. And then just a little bit of purple on the top. So kind of like that. That's not bad. I like that. I'm just kind of mixing my colors until I get, you know, something that I really like. Oh, I'm fine. Okay. 
So, let's do, should I, what do you think? Should I keep going? Yeah, if it's too long, guys, I'll cut some out. But right now, I'm just going to keep going, I guess. So, I am going to, okay. okay, get down. Get down, honey. Get down. Sorry, she's not listening. <laughs> Just a big rose leaves. Like I said, it's just for myself. It's no one, you know, no one else. Kind of do your thing. But yeah, this is what I would have been doing if I was just sitting back and today. I thought, well, I'll just bring you guys along. I was going to do it. But my yeah, Clint was going to do a video. He just really, his, he's doing that methotrexate and it's making his back worse. It's helping his hands, but not his back. So he's got to, you know, get it out of his system, which won't be until next week. So he's just trying to make it, you know, that's kind of fun, and then we'll go over to the other one and just put some there. Let's see. Think about your leaf, Michelle. <laughs> okay, I like that. There we go. Maybe something there. And then just a little bit darker. Just to give it some interest. Sorry guys, I feel like I've been on here forever. And then let's do one there, because why not? And then what I would do, I probably won't do it all in here, but just kind of go through some of the leaves and because they're all kind of monotone you know because that's what I did and just start adding some highlights and stuff I don't have to you know do all that for you guys but just some darker ones just to kind of add some interest instead of having it flat fill in. Come on, some highlights. Probably won't take me very long, so we're just going to do it because we can. So like that. And then, like I said, down here, I think I already did a few of those. And then this one. I'm just kind of, you know, making it make sense to me. So if I don't know what I did the first time, then <laughs> I'm kind of like, what did I do there? So, just trying to make it make sense. <clears throat> but kind of doing it really sketchy is kind of what I'm aiming for. So, you know, like here, just, just to sketch in some greenery. Like I said, just so it doesn't feel flat, you know. I think really by adding highlights and stuff, and if I feel like I need to add some highlights, I'll go back, like I said, to my sketch pen, my um, white highlighter. Not highlighter, my wet, um, my white gel pen. And it's a uniball. And I will add some, um, you know, highlights and stuff. And that really does make a huge difference. That's one thing, you know, I didn't really learn before was, you know, things like that. So it's kind of just kind of sketchy, sketchy. I'm having fun. Are you guys having fun? 
I guess I am. <laughs> Clint likes to hear me jabber. <laughs> yeah. Or maybe not. <laughs> well, if you're jabbering, it means I don't have to. You don't have to. Yeah, that's true, huh? Yeah. But, you know, I mean, you don't have to do a lot to, you know, your journal. This one lady I, I watched because after I read the book, I thought, you know what? There's got to be other people doing this, too, you know? So I went and looked on YouTube, and um, she draws one picture a day. You know, maybe she ate, I think one time she ate a candy bar or something, or they, oh, I think it was a um, thing that they always do is... Um, they share them for Christmas or something so she took that and she saved the wrapper in the and then drew a picture of it I thought that you know that's kind of interesting because she didn't want to she doesn't want to do like a whole spread or anything and so that's what she did is she just um, drew and she's practicing you know she put like gold on it some gold metallic and things like that and you know, I thought, you know, that's a good idea. Kind of just things that are important to you or if they have, you know, like she said, it was a family tradition. And I just thought, you know, that's really a fun idea. Especially if you don't have time. And I don't plan on doing like a two spread page uh, forever. So it's just, I thought, um, this one I had so much I wanted to do. And I thought, you know what, I am just going to play, and I'm going to do two pages. In fact, I think this is my first two page, even when I did all those other ones. It was hard to kind of fill them in and stuff, but this one has just been so fun. And plus, I kind of envisioned my, um, you know, the um, garden, a garden page that was just so interesting. I thought, you know, I just want to do that, so do that you know kind of just do what you want to do if you just want to you know get you a little tiny page you know a journal book and just draw something or just sketch something use markers to um, do it but yeah look on um, Instagram or YouTube and see what other people are doing and get inspiration from them you know that's kind of fun Okay, so let's finish up Mr. Killdeer over here. What color do I, is there a color over there that I don't have over here? No, I think I got them all because I have the purple, I have the pink and the yellow. Pink, yellow, green, I have tons of green, purple, orange, red. I don't have red. Let's do red for the Killdeer because why not? It's a really strong red though. I'm going to change a smaller brush. But when I used to do my Fobonichi before, I would, um, I was always, you know, the day, the day before or the day after. This is kind of funny because it's red like blood and it's spelling out kill. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, it just made me laugh. Hi, Artie. What you doing, baby? Uh -huh. But man, the song was so pretty. If you guys have never heard a Kilder sing, you yeah, should look it up on the internet and listen to it. Because man, it was so, it really grabbed our attention. We're right. like, what yeah. was that? Neither one of us had any idea what it was. But man, it was so pretty. And maybe I'll put like some pink or something in it just to tone it down. Maybe what color? Maybe just yellow. Make it more orangey. Do I? I was telling him he sure does have pretty eyes. He does, doesn't he? Just so it it's not all red. That's just kind of morbid. Morbid looking. <laughs> And since it's still a little bit wet, it's kind of still blending. Okay, so let's finish up Mr. Kildeer and then we'll be done. Sorry, I can't figure out where I'm at. There we go. 
the thing still sideways. Okay, so Mr. Kildeer is right here in a black. And I kind of have this one black color over here. It's really hard for me to figure out how to mix colors and stuff. Like I said, I'm still learning. So I mix a whole bunch of colors and hope it turn out turns out black. <laughs> I got lucky yesterday or one day and it was, wow, I was like, that's a pretty color. Because it was really dark like I wanted it to be. So let me put some more of this. Okay. That's as good as it's going to get. <coughs> And then he has a little bit of black. See, it's green. Look at it. It's like a deep green. That's okay. okay. And then he has just a little bit here and here. And then look at that. I'm going to have to paint his beak green. If I don't like that, I might just use my marker that I used to draw and just kind of go over it but it's it's not bad it's just not accurate you know which is fine you know got you guys know how i am i like uh not so accurate whimsical yeah i, I kind of like whimsical <laughs> what oh you know laying on you way laying we're sister on the couch oh good and then his eye was it's almost orange, like a deep orange and then a black. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to do the deep orange and then I'll come back with the black. With the black um, thing. That is way too wet. Like really deep orange. The eyes I found, if you get the eyes pretty accurate, then everything else kind of goes together, which is really fun. I like that. Okay, guys, I'm going to let this dry. We'll finish his eye, and then we'll call it a day. Be right back. Okay, guys, so one thing I forgot was my little hummingbird over there. Do this one color that kind of looks um, bronzy looking. Oh, good grief. They're still screaming. They want treats already. <laughs> uh, I tell you. Yeah, I forgot about my little guy here. And then let's kind of do just a little bit of kind of shadow on him. Oops. Very, like I said, whimsical and simple. Might come back and put some green up there, but I kind of like that. So, well, let's just do this. I like that. Let's just change it. <laughs> Use that big. Just because I feel like it, you know, it's pretty much all green. It was just such a neat little place. And I don't really want a lot of white space on here. And I still have plenty of green on my palette. That looks good. Okay, so let's do his eye. So he has a pretty good, like, pupil. for a second that's like so cool I love it and then yeah that'll help with my such such a green you know because I know black you know like in ducks and stuff they're really um kind of have that green shade and stuff and I think that's you know I can kind of 
kind of get the same look. You know, when it's full black, it's like a green. I think he looks pretty cool. Not as dark as I wanted him to be, but I think he's going to going to work. I think he looks pretty neat. Let's kind of do a little bit more of that original color there. So I still have a little bit mixed up. I think he's awesome. Okay, let's see. Anything else that I want to do? Let's put a little hummingbird eyeball. And I think we're just about done. If you wanted to, you know, you could do some doodling or something, you know, just like the roses. Just to show you guys. You know, just... I mean, roses are so simple. Clint got me the roses today, and they were almost like a carnation-type rose. They were so frilly all the way around it. It was so cool. Yeah, really pretty. Yeah. They smelled so good, too. They yes. really smell really good, and, yeah. I was like, I can't believe you. Well, and the thing he bought, the vase, was like 25 bucks. I'm like, I am not worth that much. <laughs> he said, yes, you are. <laughs> It was sweet. <laughs> well, the second I saw that vase, I knew I wanted to buy it. Yeah, we don't really, well, and he doesn't really, you know, besides vases and roses, he doesn't say, oh, hon, I saw this for you, but vases, we have quite a few, and they're really special ones because he doesn't just go and buy all the ones he puts thought into it, you know, so... He doesn't buy things just to buy them. It's like, oh, I love this, or so it was really sweet. And it, like I said, it's almost like a milk glass looking. So yeah, I like that. That's kind of fun. I kind of like that. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do that. There's no sense in you guys watching. Um, but I'm gonna call it done. I think it turned out really cute. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope it inspires you to try the same thing and. Um, yeah, I really enjoyed it. So, thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure and hit that subscribe button. Give this video a thumbs up. It really helps out our channel. And we will see you guys in the next video. See you soon. Bye. Bye. <laughs>